everyone, Natalia here. I'm working on koi fish, so I thought I might as well work a little bit together with you. I've been working all morning on it, and we have a big snowfall, so I'm just like answering phones and did lots of diamond painting. Yesterday I did a little bit more cross stitching. But my plan is to finish koi fish as soon as possible so I can start work on my winter diamond painting at the same time. And all this dark black around I've been doing this morning with my replacer to get this thing speed up a little bit. Drills line up nicely on this canvas. Who else got the snow last night and all day today? But the weatherman says it's supposed to melt and start rain tomorrow or tonight. Not gonna be for a long time, thank goodness gonna melt fast. Hope so. For those who wanted to see uh, kitty cat's canvas finished, I did uh, make a video of work in progress, but also I posted picture on my Instagram, Lovecraft Forever XO, of finished kitten. So if you are on Instagram, you can see how the kitten look like. Because as of for now, um, I'm gonna show you the kitten later on in this video. I'm just gonna get a few clips together. In my last video I asked you guys if you like to see more videos of my squirrels and one of my friends from Australia she said please do more videos of the squirrels because they don't have a squirrels in Australia to be honest I never knew that so that was an interesting fact to learn from me that squirrels doesn't live in Australia but I love the kangaroos up there so yes uh, I will post some video and I have a video snapshot one with the black squirrel it's kinda not easy to catch them because they not come over too often but I do have a short video of black squirrel. They are gorgeous. Okay. Let me move canvas a little bit. Um, this morning I was working a little bit. I'm going to show you on this color. Oh, this color is so beautiful. It was so nice to place them. They like, it's just such a good quality beads that I have one place in them. Okay, we're gonna place some in here. With this dark blue water back around. I 
I don't work for too long on this canvas as I try to kind of a little bit to do at the same time a little bit this canvas a little bit that canvas and I already have in mind to actually try a little bit of the little tulips canvas that you wanted to see lots of you wanted to see tulips so I think I just have to to create short video about tulips maybe if I don't finish in one video at least I can show you a little part to show you how beads line up together and how actual canvas will look like finish um, at least like one flowers if colors of the drills picked nicely or not because you know what sometimes canvas looks so good oh I missed a bit but it could be drills picked wrong colors and it's not gonna be as good so I'm interested too to kind of to see how those tulips gonna look like so I'm thinking I'm just gonna take a little bit break from the koi fish because I've been drilling since oh, I don't know well between doing house thing and cooking so I think like a maybe four hours or so so I'm gonna put this to rest a little bit and do something else So how many of you shop on 1111? I believe the sales going, still going, I think. Last year, it was like for a whole week or something, 1111 sales. So yes, as I said in my previous video, I am not shopping for 1111 this year. been turning upside down this canvas this is like I'm working from the very very top of the canvas right now that's the tail of my red fish to be honest I don't even know which one fish I like better now I always was impressed with this red orange fish but when I look on the black fish such a unique color combination up there that I think I might even like that fish more okay we have a big line in here so we can use multiplacer I'm sorry you didn't have any video on Tuesday just didn't have time to record um, so yes uh, my apology for that I feel like when I don't post video you are expecting and then you missing out on a video and upset that I don't have any video please don't
All right, I will change color and come back to you with different color. Not my favorite color to work with, gray, but they are even nice beads. So we are going to place them on simple K and that's again back around. Also lots of this color on a gray fish or black fish, I don't know. So right now it's a, like a water background we're gonna work on it. And let's just start from here. to create some field for the fish to swim in. They go beautiful. See how pretty they are, like a candy. start to watch Christmas movies. We are. It's our tradition every Christmas time. My little girl and I, we watch Home Alone. And she trying to search these days for this movie. It's not on yet. So I guess maybe we'll be closed to December or so. So we just watching miscellaneous movement. We were watching uh, Beethoven about this big Saint Bernard dog. Uh, some other Christmas stories about Santa. So that's what we watch when we have time. My way, I would watch only YouTubers, what's going on on YouTube, but she wants to watch movie with Mama, so I have to. Maybe that's why I didn't record these days as much, because she wants me to be together or she read book for me. Or we watch some show together. As I work from home, I have lots of time on my hands. And the school buses was canceled for the last two days. So she was staying home too, and her brother, I don't know why they canceled, it wasn't that bad of the snow, like today where the road was clear, but guess what, kids were happy not to go. Before I forget this little space in here, just gonna do this multiplacer like this. I hope you can hear me, guys, because I'm trying to be a little bit quiet because somebody's sleeping. Okay. I was hoping to receive some package today, but doesn't look like 
post office mail was here today. Doesn't look like anything show up to the mailbox today. It's absolutely empty. And I'm so anxious to receive my package. Hopefully tomorrow, or maybe they still will show up today. I don't know. Beautiful. So this canvas is very easy to work with the multiplacer. I even try, guys. I'm gonna show you right now again. I tried to work with the multiplacer by what is a um, six, I think. And work not bad. And I'm gonna move canvas right now, and we're gonna practice a few more times. And I'm gonna show you the best way how you can place when you take your beads. Usually, I pick the longest row, so it's for sure enough to stab as many as possible. Okay, one is falling out. Okay, so it's a uh, six in here, yes, six beads. And then I find biggest row in here, and I place on one, and I walk. I slip here a little bit, hold on. Let's try again. I place on one, and I walk kind of like this. See, it's cool, nice and straight. It just I'm so used to not to use multiplacer that it's kind of like awkward, but it, it is much faster if you have very big round. Now I'm gonna try to play just without any movements, just a place from the top like this. But take it sometimes time to kind of line up visually. But if you get used to it, it's not bad. There. See, it's not bad. Well, I can see, well, I cannot see it's not bad because I can see the row if this way, it's not very straight. And this, um, this draw a little bit row, not as straight, but you just can go back and Move them around a little bit, plus later on just grab your straightener to bigger or smaller, you know. This one is a little tiny one, just to kind of push them like this. And pretty much not bad now, right? So yes, you can definitely use multiplacer on this canvas because it's Nice and easy to slide. Three placer still is my favorite because it can fit in more places that bigger placer doesn't fit. So it's only good when you have a like humongous background of the same color. Definitely will save your time if you are in a hurry to finish some project before Christmas. Shake it up, keep your canvas 
close so you don't get any bead spillage on your canvas okay so now we're gonna go back to the side and finish those single ones in here I want to see a resolution for this 2019. I hope before New Year's Eve I can finish all my canvases that already I started, which is always going to be something that I started again, but at least the one that I have already started a long time ago. I really have to finish them and I can see I don't know if you can see but I have a little tiny piece of fur in here it's not even fur it feels like it's a fiber from something and where is it now I, I lost it I saw and now I lost it. I have to wait till the special light hit. Now I don't see it. Well, that's funny. Alright. I'm just gonna keep drill till I see it again. Hmm. That's funny. It disappeared on me. I missed the spot. It was a tiny, tiny something okay I think I'm done in here so I will bring you back with some different color I just want to show you how this looks like so far. I decided not to make a video too long. Plus, uh, some of you requested to show you my black squirrel, so I will insert a short video on the end. Uh, but for now, as you can see, it looks absolutely gorgeous so far. So if I zoom close, we can see that top is almost done now it starts in here those dark patches so it's really where you see on a canvas dark patches shiny that's what beads have to go and it will be finished so I have one two three four spots on this fish and just a tiny bit in here and mostly those dark spots with symbol of M and K and this diamond painting will be finished so last night I actually well this is next day I record a video and last night I started on my second panel actually of this winter another side of smaller panel I believe and I started to create in here checkerboard and I put when I open because it's like a half of the canvas right so when I peel this clear sheet and because this side is all not drill yet so I put parchment paper to cover and save my sticky area and I'm just gonna I decided to go to create a roof of the house which this thing keep coming down and uh, I 
finish in here with colors. A little bit of black, wasn't much. Well, in here, I can show you this piece. Let me just try to peel it with one hand if I can. Because I created there, it's going to fall. Cover will fall back. But I did some black beads in here. It's not easy. Ah! What in the world? I can't open my canvas. Hold on, guys. I'm going to peel it from this side. Just a minute. There. There, so I can show you those black beads. Why it's not focusing? But, but wow, they're already shiny. This is only uh, overhead light. I'm on a dining table right now. And I started this checkerboard and I will continue checkerboard with you in my next video. So that's what I'm going to do. Alright guys, thank you so much for staying with me. And I will be working on two of these canvases because this canvas I really want to finish before Christmas. So I can put it on the wall. So I still have, a, you know, four panels to go. And that's my beads from Fishy. And I think my Fishy looks amazing. To be honest, I thought I'm going to like this fish more. But now I'm just really loving it. Those bright green colors in here. And those waves, um, like a veins. It really make this fish mysteriously amazing. And I love it. I love it. So it it will be look gorgeous from far it looks like already finished but those dark patches still need to be drilled love it love it love it love it and i will pull out this washi tape because they doesn't stay uh, and i don't really need them there's no excess glue barely any and this one see like from this side just no want to stay because it's no excess glue so this is really good canvas doesn't have a glue sticking out on the edges and it looks pretty. All right, I will say goodbye for you to, for now, and see you next time. Finally, black beauty show up to my window. I wonder what happen if brown ones or gray squirrels would see it. Oh, she's so pretty. To bed the. Uh, screen doesn't really show beauty Okay.